What is up, gamers? Welcome back to Space Quest 1. I am Captain Muddy. This is Space Quest 1. So there were a few things that, there, well, there was something that I missed. Uh, I did go ahead and look it up. Uh, if you want to see who I I looked up to find figure this out, click the I in the corner. It's a very good channel. The guy is very knowledgeable and you know showing you how to get through this but I wanted to hurry up and finish this series so I, I just I just watched the rest of the video I, I I'm sorry I know it's not how I wanted to do this I wanted to do this on my own but I want to get to Space Quest 2 and so on and so forth because I just want to play it I want to I, I just want to play it so I did figure out from there that there is a way to set the speed of the game to make this a lot easier because uh, it is super super difficult and there's going to be an area which is going to take me a while so I'll probably cut it out. Uh, I'm not going to explain it just yet until we get to the town but this will make it a lot easier to get through the rocks and the desert but there was also that cartridge that I picked up. That down below in that base, I was supposed to insert the cartridge into a a computer, and it was a message from the doctor about the star generator and the Syrians. If they get a hold of it, it's doom for all humanity and probably the rest of the universe. So there's actually a self-destruct for the star generator and generator, and there is a code. Uh, I did not go back because, unfortunately, my save file I saved over down there. I only realized after I did that. But it's a super frustrating game, so... So, we're going to put this on slow, and we are going to get through this now. Maybe it's too slow. I was never very good at arcade style games. That's why I didn't like them. Ooh. I want to keep this vehicle in really good shape too because I think you sell it when you get to the settlement. Ooh, I almost moved. Almost moved. Ooh. Come on, we can do it. Okay, try to stay too far from the edges. Because then you'll really mess yourself up. Uh, well, so much for making it there with no damage. Yay, we made it there at least. All right. After a truly stone-crushing journey, you have miraculously arrived safely 
and Euless Flats. And just in time too because the skimmer's power cell has been drained. It will take some time to recharge itself. This this place isn't quite what you had expected it. Expected it is semi bleak at best. Okay, so get gap get off skimmer. Okay, now this guy, he's going to come and he's going to offer me some money for my skimmer. Say, this is a genuine Fulton Sand Skimmer. I've been looking for one just like it. I wonder if you would accept 30 buckazoids for it. So, i got to tell him no right now. Fine, be that way. Whatever attitude. You walk off into the desert with your little buddy. So now we're supposed to... Let's go into the bar. So we're gonna... Look around. This is a seedy little place. Galactic riffraff and s Galactic riffraff are seated at the bar. The bartender drops an oca occasionally to serve. Oh, drops by occasionally to serve to serve them. A band is cranking out some of the more popular tunes in the Garderant. Garderant. There's a slot machine standing near the bar. You notice a sweeper in the lower corner of the room. It must get messy here. No one seems to notice or care that you have entered the bar. So watch this guy over here at the the, the, the slot machine, because that's going to be a fun little thing. Uh, is it not time for him yet? Okay. So we need to go. Oh, there he goes. Vaporized. So what happens is if you hit the wrong things and you're, you're very unlucky, you die. You're, you're dead. You're done. You're, you're toast. You know, the sweeper guy comes out, sweeps you up, and takes you away. Oh, you know what would help? There, if I put it back in normal. Sorry, sorry for that. Okay, we're going to get out of here because that music's kind of annoying. Okay. Now this dude comes back. Let's see what he offers this time. Okay, this is my final offer, and I'm only doing this because you look like you need it pretty badly. I'll give you 30 buckazoids, and I'll throw in this swell jetpack. See, now you need the jetpack. The jetpack is important. I only used it once. Works great in zero gravity. You'll love it. And it's a deal, yes or no. So, we're going to say yes. Glad we could do business. Hope your stay in Ulens. It's Ulens Flats because it's supposed to be flatulence. Hello, haha. -ha. Is hopefully sorry. Hope your stay in Ulens Flats is an interesting one. Ulens Flats. Ulens. Okay. So there's a thing now that we have to do. Now this may take a while, so I may I may cut, cause we need money. I, I need I need money. I need more than thirty buckazoids. He gets vaporized. Oh, let's wait for the the droid to sweep him up.
Okay. But before we do that, we're going to... We're going to save. So, let's see. Let's go over save one. I'm going to say... Slots, just slots. Yes. Okay. So, see here. No, I don't know why I'm pointing at the screen. Sorry if I'm looking over here. I'm making sure everything's good. But if, as you can see, yeah, the skulls equal death. Those plus sign looking things wins you 20, and the other one wins you 10. So I can bet three dollars, one, two, or three dollars to bet. As you can see at the bottom of the screen, it's F8. So we're gonna go ahead and go F8. Ooh, sweet. We need to get up to 250 buckazoids. It's hopeless. I don't care if it's hopeless. And I died. Okay. Ooh, okay. We're, oh yeah, we're definitely saving now. Because we're so close. I want to get a little bit above 250. Because there's a couple of things that you got to do. So. Oh, so your, your limit is 250. Okay. Alright, well we got our 250. So. I'm not even going to bother with these guys. Because, um. I already know what sector to look for. It's sector HH. But essentially what you'll do is you'll come here to the bar. And you'll talk to the bartender. You'll get a few beers. And you'll overhear some of these guys talking about the Sarens at sector HH. Which is a very important thing. Because that's where we have to go from this planet. So I think we go up this way. Go this way. Droids be us. Or is it are us? Welcome to Droids Be Us, the finest emporium for mechanized beings in the quadrant. We have a complete line of droids for any purpose imaginable. Well, almost any. All top of the line, but I suppose you would probably be interested in our sales items. Please walk this way. Well, I want to look at this. I want to see. There's nothing. I'll tell you that. Okay. So, I guess we can't look at these guys. That model is ideal for flight systems operations. It will pilot any modern flight fighter uh, pilot any modern fighter or cruiser and it's one of the most experienced droids we carry i ask only 45 buckazoids for it 36 with a coupon i got it from some gambling type who was required to pay up or perish okay so this is the droid you want the green droid is bad so, buy droid. Using your discount coupon, you have made a relatively decent purchase of a pre-owned sales item. Now he's my buddy, and he's going to follow me. So, thank you very much. Let's go, droid. So, now... 
Oh yeah, the the little fun thing I found out watching that video is this pile of sand right here is the people who died playing the slot machine. So yeah, that's that's fun. That that's where I ended up in a couple times. We're gonna cruise on through this because I wanna. Am I okay? Oh man. Uh, for a second there, I thought I wasn't recording. Okay, so now we talk to Tiny. Howdy, Bucko. Can I interest you in one of our one of the finest little used spaceships in the galaxy? You look like a man of discerning taste. Yes, yes, you can. Um. Well, I know these ones don't let the appearance fool ya. This this baby may be a relic, I mean a classic, but she is a she's as dependable as the day we got her. And just think you'll be the only one in the in the garden with one. I guarantee it. She's a beaut, isn't she? This little baby can do a spin around the planet in just under an hour. Look at the lines in that bodywork. They, they just don't make them like this anymore. You know what I mean. And she's a really bar, a real bargain at 185 buckazoids. Well, that's nice and all, but I need one that a droid can can go into. So we need, I, I just wanted to see what that one said. So let's look at this one. Well, there's a man with a good eye. This here is the keenest little scrambler in the hemisphere. Top of the line, handless, like a, handles like a charm, perfect for cruising the asteroid fields. And she's got all the thrust a guy could need. I tell you, she... She's an outright steal at 214 buckazoids. Okay. I tell you, I think you've made the wisest decision. She's a beaut. The keys are in her. If you have any problem, don't hesitate to come back and tell, tell us all about them. It's been a heck of a pleasure doing business with you. Oh, by the way, you, you're going to need a droid to help you fly that thing. Well, good luck. Come again. Nope. So. Climb ladder. You didn't understand it, but you still did it. Okay. Look. Luke. Look. Panel. Looking at the inside of the ship, you notice there are no controls here. Just a button marked load. Tiny must have been serious when he said you would need a droid to fly it. Well, luckily I already bought a droid. Because I also looked it up. Sorry. Just want to finish this game. So, push load. What sector shall I head for, sir? Asks the droid. H H. Sector H eight. It is. I will proceed with course entry. There we go. Hey, wait. Or, hey, wait a minute. Where do you think you're going with my ship? Off you go into the purple yonder. Now, apparently this guy was going to try to talk to you at some point. If he does, stay away. He'll just kill you and take your money. But instead, we took his ship. And off we go, zooming off into the stars. 
Well done, Muddy. You've managed to overcome the elements of the planet that shall not be named. From endless deserts and spider droids to obnoxious salesmen and bad booze. Yes, the sand in your boots shall forever serve as a reminder of this forsaken planet. You should feel proud, but now destiny awaits with an even greater challenge. Hang on, sir. We're heading into an asteroid field. Now, see, this is the part that's detrimental to have this specific droid. I didn't try the other droid. Maybe I'll go back and try it. Maybe I'll, I'll like, splice it in to show what would have happened if I had the Dum Dum droid. But this droid, he, he's good. He's a good droid. My little R2. Whoop. And whoop. Oh, some, oh, something's coming up. Something's coming up. Is this? This should be the final ship. We have established visual contact with the ship of Saren Origin, says the droid. The name, the name Delta is confirmed. You might consider the fact that we are in danger by being anywhere near this ship. I hope you didn't waste money on the extended warranty when you purchased me. Oh, you funny little guy, you. I will slow her approach and stand off at a safe distance. Okay, so now what we need to do. Okay, we come up to the ship. Okay, so we're at the ship. We need to get on that ship. So... We have the jetpack, we need to put it on. You are now wearing the jetpack. A small control linkage snaps into the back of your helmet, allowing you to control it merely by focusing on where you want to go. All right, so. We're gonna leave the ship. Before leaving the safety of your ship, you instruct the little droid to set a course for Xenon where you will rendezvous later, providing of course that you are successful in carrying out your mission. Once again, you are on your own. Okay, now we fly, fly, fly. Fly, fly, fly. Whoop. Okay. Look, door. It appears to be a standard airlock. There is a handle in the center. So we need to... Turn handle. You grasp the large handle and twist, noting the rather significant amount of pain being registered. You are extremely grateful to hear a click. As you enter the Saren ship, the airlock door seals itself behind you. You try to open it again without any success. It appears that you are stuck in here. Okay. So now, hold on, we should do this. We should go back to normal. We should save. Okay. I'm going to save it under ship infiltration. You see no apparent, you see no apparatus of any sort which would open the door. Okay. Oh. Okay. And we're in. So now we need to go to, we need to hurry up and do this.
Open the chest. Put the jetpack in the chest. Done. Close chest. Okay, and then we need to come around here. Push the chest. Okay. Get on chest. Okay. Um. Open vent. And get in the vent. All right. Making progress. Now we go up. We're going to go to fast speed. And we want to go down this hallway. And th your nose has just been redesigned by your ill advised attempt to insert it into a closed vent. Okay, now you can't pry it from on the insides. So we got to kick the vent. Okay, so I have to open the vent. Okay, now, or do I just, oh, there we go. You're in the ship's laundry facility. Get in washer. There we go. And then this guy comes in. Well, Muddy, it certainly appears as though you are about to become all washed up. <laughs> Yay! Okay. Somehow you manage to survive the rinse cycle. As you emerge from the cleaning unit, you notice that you're dressed in a Sarian battle uniform. What a stroke of genius. Now you can wander through the ship without calling attention to yourself. Nice. Sweet. I am one of you. I have assimilated, so I think... Yeah, I gotta go down here. Okay, this is the star generator, so what I need to do... Is I need to knock this fool out. Hi, how you doing? Okay, so I need to be up there. Do I go this way? Yes, yes, I do. Then we go up this elevator. We walk down this way, and in here should be the weapons storage area because we need a weapon because this is gonna this is gonna get tricky. Okay. So look around. Rows of weapons on the wall tell you that you are in the Daltler's armory. There is a service droid behind the counter with weapons issued countered. Blah, blah, blah. Look, counter. There are two gas grenades sitting on the right side of the counter. Yes, I know. We need to be quick and get the grenades. Or a grenade. Okay. 
So, give them the ID card. We're going to go slow. All right, now we got the grenade, so we can go back. Ooh, just in time, too. Your rank allows you to bear one pulsary unit. Remember, no firing in the ship. Have a nice day. So F6 to fire. We can, um, we can speed this back up to normal speed now. I like that they have the slowdown function. That is, that's nice. Now this guy down here guarding the place need to knock out the guard. So drop grenade and poof. The grenade drops to the floor, releasing its poisonous gas on the unsuspecting alien. Good shot, Muddy. Okay, so we need to save again. Okay, because this is going to get tricky. Uh, I'm going to lose my helmet at some point. I'm thinking it comes up here. No, not so much here. It'll be in the next room. But we're going to have to be quick with that trigger. And we're going to have to save a lot. And whoop! Oh no, there goes my helmet. My, aren't you the clumsy one? Because of your inability to walk without falling on your face... Your helmet is now riding the elevator without you. You've blown your cover. The Syrians are sure to shoot first and ask questions later. Well, I mean, wouldn't, wouldn't the helmet be in the elevator? Oh, hold on, hold on. Okay, hopefully we can make it through this without any trouble. All right. Now we need to search this guy. Because there's a force field around the star generator. You seem to have found a remote control device of some sort. It has only one button labeled on off. So. Push the button. Suddenly, the force field protecting the star generator disappears. So, panel? Oh. Okay, look panel. So, it should be... So, it is... Is that the... Did I punch in the number? Oh, F6 to select the key. Six. Eight. Five. Eight. And enter. Okay, we only have like five minutes to get out of here now. 
detonation cycle has begun. The star generator has come alive. The heat that this thing is starting to generate tells you that it's time to blow this taco stand. But first, oh, we're going to save. Okay, yeah, I already saved. Nope. Okay, um, I think I go, do I go down here? Yes. Oh, I could have, I could have made that. I still could. Oh, sweet. I didn't even really have to kill anybody other than that one guy. Okay, now you need to be very careful because right here, you can die. And I don't want to die. Because this right here will be the end of the game. Look around. You are in the shuttle launch bay aboard the ship okay s h u k t l e ah get in shuttle you swiftly slip into the sleek ship try saying that three times fast yeah we're not going to do that right now any other time, I could probably say it. I think I did just say it, but okay. Look panel. You frantically search the control console for the launch button. Aha, there it is. Push button. Whee! And off we go. Destroying the enemy vessel. Yes. Kaboosh. The Dottler has been blown to tiny fragments by the force of the star generators blast you have saved the lives of millions of your people not to mention the lives of those in other systems don't get a big head congratulations muddy you've rid the universe of the evil sarens and saved your people from a certain doom the star generator technology is safe safe inside the data cartridge now a new star generator can be built and you can carry out you can carry and can carry out its original task. You are an all-around hero. You have made it home safe aboard the stolen Saren craft, where you've encountered a cheering Xenon crowd. They have gathered together for a ceremony in your honor. The ceremony is already in progress. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not, but. As a token of appreciation, you are presented with a golden mop. Thank you, Muddy, for cleaning up our galaxy, says the Xenon leader. Once a janitor, always a janitor. And that's it. We beat the game. The end. So, I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, this was an interesting game to play. Definitely. You, even though I, I have played three, I never played one or two. But next, will be I will be playing two. 
So I want to thank you guys for watching. If you liked it and want to see more of these, hit the, that like button, hit the thumbs up, ring the notification bell, so you know when I post more videos. Um, I also post Pokemon openings, uh, which I'm currently doing a giveaway on, so if you're interested in any of those, take a look at them. If you're not interested in those videos, you just ignore them. And if you're one of my Pokemon people and you don't want to see these, then just don't don't watch them, I guess. It, it, it's all up to you. It's all personal preference. So that'll be it. Until next time, I hope you enjoyed. Like I said, man, I'll see you all in the next video.